How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and this is my Samsung Galaxy S7 and we're going to show you guys how to root the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge and this process is really simple so we're just going to get into it. So here you go, see what I've got. Um, it's really important that you make sure you know what software you're on in case something goes wrong. So go into about device and scroll down here and find your build number and write down your build number. Um, baseband is also good to know. Write down this information somewhere you have it, so if you need it, you can get it. Okay, besides that, I mean, this thing is pretty much stock. Um, this will not wipe your device unless you mess something up and you have to restore, but uh, you'll keep everything on the device exactly how it was, so no worries there. Let's go ahead and get into this rooting process. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go ahead and power off the device. So we're gonna power it down, and we're gonna boot the device into download mode. This is the T-Mobile variant, but this will work on all S7 and S7 edges. So we're gonna hold volume down, home, and power, and you're just gonna keep holding them until you're at this screen right here, and then you're gonna go volume up, and this puts your device into download mode. So um, yeah, very, very simple download mode, and we're gonna go ahead and connect our computer up to the device. All right, and then we're going to go to my computer and go ahead and show you guys the process here. So let's open up my computer. All right, guys, here we are on the computer. So what you're going to need to do is come over here to rootjunkiessdl.com, and we're going to click on this file and go ahead and download it. You see it's downloading right here. Now, I have went ahead and already downloaded and extracted mine. Here's the file. Basically, you're going to open it up with uh, an extraction tool like 7-Zip and hit Extract, and when you do, you'll be left with... Well, most of these files. You won't have this one. Um, but I want to show you what this is. It's really kind of important. So what you got here is um, this file. So this is my stock firmware, which is what I had you write down the build number for. So it's really important that you have the firmware that you need. In case something goes wrong, you can always restore the firmware. So make sure you get that as well. I'll leave you links to places where you can get Samsung firmware from in the video description. Okay, so otherwise, you're going to open up Odin. So we're going to open up this program right here. And this can be, say, all kinds of different random things up here in the top. It really doesn't matter as long as it's Odin. And you can see, actually, we don't, we're not seeing the device currently. So the best way to do this if you have a problem here is just unplug the device and plug it back in. And normally, that will make it show up here in Odin. And for some reason, it's actually not, which is interesting. Normally, there's a COM port. Let me uh, try rebooting it. All right, so there you go. You can see it went ahead and it showed up. It says COM4. It can say COM whatever. It doesn't really matter what number it is, but make sure it's, it's connected and it says added right here. So from here, you're going to come over to PA, click on that and you're gonna find the rooted boot image tar for your device. So this is the G930, um, and this is the S7, and then the G935 is the S7 uh, Edge, and these are the Qualcomm. This is only for Qualcomm. If you have Exynos, I will try to link you to some other files that you can flash for those. But for this, this is only Qualcomm devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that tar file, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit flash. And there you go, the flash process is complete. So the device is rebooting now, which you can see. And it does say it is custom at this point because you have rooted it, it now has this custom logo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're actually done on Odin, but we need to keep the computer open because we need to come in here to these root files and click on this. And we're gonna run some things. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're just gonna come in here and right click with your mouse Actually, hold shift on your keyboard and right click and say open command window here. This is going to open us up a command window. And then we're going to type in some commands into this thing just to make sure that everything's communicating correctly um, once the device fully boots up. So here you go. You can see I've got it booted up. Um, I'm not even going to unlock it, I don't think. Let's see if this works. So we're going to type in ADB devices, hit enter, and go uh if you have to run it again any command you can just hit up arrow on your keyboard and it'll run adb devices again and you can see it comes back here with a um serial number and it says device so that means we're connected so that means we can actually go on and run the next uh process so 
Um, if you're not connected here, you probably need to unplug, plug in, maybe get your Samsung and drivers installed, which I'll also link in the video description. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And we're going to come over here to the root batch file. And we're going to go ahead and run that. And this will go ahead and root the device. So um, this process is very automated at this point. You're just waiting for the device to finish the process and then it'll go through a reboot and you will have a rooted Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Very, very simple. Um, just wanna point this out while we're waiting on this. Right here, we'll pull that back up. Um, so right here, you see how it says the G930X? Well, X stands for any variant. So. Um, it could be the 930T, the 930A, the i930V, um, which is which is AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. So any of those is fine. And same with the um, Galaxy S7 X, which is, again, any variant. So it's very, very nice. Okay, so you can see it's finishing up the script here. Uh, not too much longer, and we will wrap up. And the device, I think, actually is going to reboot. Um, there you go, the script closed and the device rebooted. So we're actually done on the computer. That's the process you need. If you want BusyBox, you can push the APK over and install it as well, but I'm not even gonna show you that. It's not really necessary for root access. So let's let this thing boot up here, but we're done on the computer. So here you go, we should have root access. We'll just go in here into the app drawer. We'll click on Super SU. And as long as it's showing just like this, that means we have full root access. The device is fully working. If you don't have root access, it'll come up with an error log here in Super SU saying there's a problem. But that is the process, guys. We do now have root access on the Qualcomm variant of the S7 or the S7 Edge. Again, I will keep, uh, I'll put some files in the video description for Exynos if you have those so that you can flash those. It'll be the exact same process, just a different boot image to flash. Um, very simple, very easy to do, and very sweet to get root access on this device. Now you can customize and tweak to your heart's content. Hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos here, um, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out.